What's up everybody? My name is Dell. This is Dell on Movies. Welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back and thank you all for hanging out with me. Uh, spending a little bit of your time here. I truly appreciate it. And let's just jump into the topic at hand. So this month, July, everybody is all abuzz about the Criterion sale. Even myself, I did a video showing what I picked up my first trip down to Barnes & Noble. Well, I also picked up some things from Arrow Video. And I think I'm done with our video for the rest of the month. So I figured it was a great time to go ahead and just run through all the Arrow videos in my collection. And uh, I even do an unboxing of a couple things that I still have wrapped up in plastic. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Some of these things are in that other video. If you want to check that out, you'll see the link towards the end of the video. But let's go ahead and get started. I'll just go through my single titles first. Um, and then I'll get into the box sets that I have. So starting with those individual titles, the first one is one that I did pick up just recently at Barnes & Noble, and that is the 8 Diagram Pole Fighter. Great movie. Haven't had a chance to watch this version yet, but hopefully I will get to that uh, pretty soon. The next one up is a horror movie. It is Audition. So if you have seen Audition, you know that it is this crazy movie. Uh, this, this guy who's, I can't remember if he's divorced or he's, his wife passed away, I can't remember. But he's looking for a woman, but he can't really, you know, not really successful in that area. So he has a friend and they come up with this scheme to pretend they're making a movie. And basically they have all these women come in to audition for a role and whichever one he likes best is going to be the one that gets the role, the one that he pursues and one that he's uh, going to try to marry. And unfortunately for him, things don't turn out the way that he thought that they would, thanks to the young lady on the cover. I don't want to spoil any more of it than that. Um, if you are a Japanese horror fan or Asian horror fan at all, uh, this is a, a must watch. Uh, it is a classic, ends up on a lot of all-time great horror lists, especially Asian horror lists. So, Audition is one you gotta see if you have not already. Uh, next up is one I haven't seen, so I'm gonna skip past that one pretty quick. And this is Mario Bava Blood and Black Lace. Um, I just haven't had a chance to watch it yet. I got this, actually, it's been sitting with me now a couple years ago. A couple years it's been sitting with me, and I'm meant to watch it just haven't got around to it hopefully soon next up is a movie i've seen many times and it stars the one and only pam greer so and it is coffee and just saying pam greer that's enough for me and this one she is uh she's her little brother her little sister excuse me uh, gets hooked on some drugs and wind up getting overdosed and she's in the hospital so she's out to find out who did it and she just goes for broke this for me guys this is the original female action hero Pam Greer and Coffee for me is her best movie outside possibly of Jackie Brown after that we have another movie that I picked up recently at that Arrow sale. They were 50% off at Barnes & Noble. I'm not sure when that runs through. Uh, so you might want to check out your local Barnes & Noble if you can. Uh, this one, again, was one of those that I picked up. It was Come Drink With Me. Uh, one of the first uh, Wuxia films, or at least one that changed the genre, highly influential in the 60s. I still haven't had a chance to watch this, uh, watch this one just yet, but I'm definitely looking forward to it. And here's a week switch once again from a movie I hadn't seen to one I've seen quite a bit. Uh, even though I haven't seen it in quite some years, I also picked this one up just recently. This was Creep Show 2. Uh, Creep Show 2 is the sequel, of course, to Creep Show. That one is the superior one, but this one is, is really good in its own right. So Creep Show 2, don't sleep on it. Next is my girl again, Pam Greer. And this is the movie that everybody thinks of first after Jackie Brown. This is the movie they think of first when they think of Pam Greer, especially if they think of Pam Greer in the 70s, and that's Foxy Brown. And similar plot line to, uh, to Coffee, actually, and, and this time her brother was killed by the drug dealers in the neighborhood. And again, she's out to find out who did it. Um, and, you know, Foxy just, she doesn't mess around. So definitely check out Foxy Brown if you're not familiar with 
why Quentin Tarantino was so enamored with her enough to, to make sure that she played the title character in Jackie Brown. Next up is a movie even more obscure, though a lot of my, my horror fans will love it, especially if you like B-grade horror. Uh, this one's from the 80s, and this one is Frankenhooker. So, Frankenhooker is a, uh, it, well, it's a Frankenstein, basically, spoof, kind of, sort of. The, the guy, he, his girlfriend, she gets killed in a freak accident with a lawnmower. And he mourns her so much, he's, he decides he's going to he, try to get her back, try to bring her back somehow. And he comes up with this this drug. You got to remember in the 80s, this was the height of the crack epidemic. So he comes up with this drug and that uh, he takes around to the local uh, prostitution prostitutes. And he throws parties with them and starts getting them to use it. But when they use it, they spontaneously combust. And he gathers up parts to, to make his uh, remake his girlfriend. So it's a it's really silly. It's, it's really dumb, but I love it. it it's one of those just, just you just sit back, you turn your brain off, as the saying goes, and and just let it wash over you. So Frank and Hooker is one if you're looking for something just out of the way, just kind of silly and not really to think about it. Don't, don't want to think about it too much. Next is another movie I picked up at that on that sale that is the one on boxer again still haven't had a chance to watch any of the ones that i just bought yet uh it's been a couple weeks but I i'll get to them soon enough one on box is one again i remember from my childhood great movie just uh haven't returned to it just yet another great movie and another b great horror movie another one that if you think about it even a little bit it kind of falls apart but everybody this one's more popular than frank and hooker and that is pieces Pieces has one of the great final shots of all time, one of the great final scenes of all time. Um, the story, it, it, like I said, if you think about it for a hot second, it, it falls apart. It's just, it's as dumb as all get out, but it is so fun to watch. Uh, lots of humor, both intentional and unintentional. And then, like I said, that final shot is, uh, is an all timer. Uh, so check out Pieces. Next up is another horror movie. Arrow does a lot of horror, uh, if you guys didn't know. Uh, and this one's a uh, cult classic. Pieces is actually a cult classic also. This one's probably even more of a cult classic. It's probably got a bigger following, and it's got a bigger franchise for sure. And that is Reanimator. So Reanimator is more or less, is another kind of uh, Frankenstein kind of movie. And in this case, we got a med student and one of his one of his professors uh, he kills one of his professors and then he he's been working on this uh, project where he's trying to come up with this serum that will reanimate the dead and it works and like lots of movies it works but not the way he wants it to and then we just go from there it's just wild it's just outrageous and this is a really good time so uh, you've probably if you're into horror you've at least heard of reanimator if you haven't seen it definitely see it next is a movie that i i saw years ago when it came out and then i actually did watch it again a few weeks back uh, it's an action movie, not a horror movie, like or a martial arts movie. This is a straight up action movie. They were trying to make an action star out of Fred Ward. This is before Tremors even came out. Uh, he was just basically going to be in that Bruce Willis. Well, this is even before Die Hard, so this is in that Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sylvester Stallone kind of mode. He was going to be the next big action star. Action star. So they put him in Remo Williams. The adventure begins. And Remo is kind of gets the, the RoboCop treatment where he is he's a cop. He uh, has some bad things happen to him right at the beginning of the movie. And instead of rebuilding him as a robot, they basically pretend he's dead, ship him off uh, to work with a top secret organization and train him up and then they, they go from there. So it, it's a lot of fun, but it, uh, I can see why it didn't quite catch on. But for people who've seen it, you know, who, who are fans of it, really, really do love it. So uh, if you are an action guy, Remo Williams is one for you to watch. Next is one of my favorite horror movies of all time. 
some people kind of shy away from calling it horror. I don't. Um, it's it's definitely body horror, full on body horror. David Cronenberg. For me, this is his best movie, and it is strangely relevant to today, even though the technology in in, in the movie is uh, is not. The, the technology in the movie is basically uh, VHS equipment, the uh, VCR tapes, and that sort of thing. It, again, it's set in the 80s, but it is relevant to today. If you can just swap out the technology, it works just fine, and that is video drone. So, uh, video drone. We got a guy who is a, a TV exec at kind of a rinky dink, rinky dink TV station, and he's looking for something new. The ratings are going down, and he comes across what he thinks is a, a snuff tape. Uh, and he tries to track it down, but he begins, he begins playing it on his channel. The ratings go through the roof, but it's causing him all sorts of problems. When you watch it, it's, it, it just. I don't want to spoil any more than that. Just say it gets into some pretty nasty areas, and it actually does have something to say. Uh, it's not just all about gore, not just all about blood and guts, but it does have something to say, and it is an excellent film, and that is Videodrome. And finally, the last of the regular uh, individual titles. Actually, we do have one more individual title, but that's in a box set. The last of the individual um, titles is Willie Dynamite. Willie Dynamite is another black exploitation flick, one not as widely known as Coffee or Foxy Brown or any of the other ones you guys can probably name. And of course, it's just, I mean, you can tell by the cover, Willie Dynamite is all about pepping. But and I'll I'll leave it at that. A lot of the a lot of things if, if you're a hip hop fan, um you might have heard a lot of skits that use dialogue from this movie. So it has definitely has its following. So if black exploitation is your thing, pimping is your thing, Willie Dynamite is your guy. All right, so let's move on into the last individual title, but it is a box set. So I, I did set it with the box sets, and again, this is one I just got a couple weeks ago with uh, during that Arrow sale. I didn't do a complete unboxing of it. It's True Romance. I did unbox it during that, but just to You've probably seen a lot of unboxings of this already. This is the Steelbook edition. Uh, so that is the front of the Steelbook. And this is the back. And let's open up the, the let's open it up. And this, we got some uh, we got some some R cards. have some artwork on the inside of the case Christian Slater over there and why am I drawing a blank on the actress's name Patricia Arquette that's it uh, star studded cast besides those two uh, lots and lots of stars in there including James Gandolfini not the biggest name in there but uh, he has one of the best parts and Dennis Hopper is in there, Gary Oldman, so lots and lots of superstars just to finish out showing the part on the inside of the steel book. And yet this is the 4K version of it. This is the 4K version of it. Again, I haven't watched this version of it, so I'm looking forward to see how it looks in 4K. I'll get to that maybe this weekend. Maybe I'll maybe I'll check it out this weekend. Uh, just to oh, we got a sticky sticker here, which I didn't even realize. And of course, with the steel book, first the box. So you know, this is pretty pretty solid box. With the steel book, we have a full on book about the movie. Pretty pretty thick book. We got lots of. Lots of art going on. There's there's Gary Oldman in there, and a poster, guys. I'm gonna try to get all of this poster in the shot. We'll see how it goes. There we go. So uh, if I pull it back, something we get the, we get it there. That's one side of it that matches the box, and 
and this matches the original art for the movie. So that is the true romance box set complete. The next box set is a, a trilogy actually, and this is one of my favorite trilogies of all time. And they're all about revenge. It's actually called, and uh, there we go, got that back together. It's actually called the Vengeance Trilogy. And uh, these are three films by Korean uh, filmmaker Park Chan Wook. Uh, the three movies in the set are Lady Vengeance, Old Boy, and Sympathy for Mr. Vengeance. Um, Old Boy is one of my all time favorite movies. Just, just blew me away the first time I watched it. I thought about it for days and days on end, and years have gone by where I didn't see it, and then when I end, but I still remember, I still think about the ending of the movie, and then I watch it again, and I'm back thinking about it again for a few days, and you pick up things that you miss. So, oh, again, Old Boy is one of my favorite movies. It's actually the second movie in the trilogy, but I'm, I'm sorry, I just couldn't control myself. I had to get. I had to talk about that one first. Um, there's, there is some, there's a couple of discs and some interior art. This is a Blu-ray. Uh, there's some interior art there. This whole set is a Blu-ray. There is a 4K of this movie out there that I do not have, and I'm, I'm okay with this, uh, even though this one is a region b this whole box set is a region b box set so you would need a region free player to watch it the other two movies are very good i am not as good as old boys at least to me but they are very good lady vengeance is lady vengeance is actually an excellent movie so you definitely uh check that out i would say check out the whole uh trilogy uh this one only has one disc and then you got the artwork on the inside there and finally sympathy for mr vengeance is the weakest of the three but still a pretty good movie so there's that and again just like with uh, lady vengeance it's just one movie and then you have some artwork on the, on the inside That is the Vengeance Trilogy by Park Chan Wook. And I apologize if there are any Koreans watching. I said it backwards. Is it Park Chan Wook or Chan Wook Park? I've seen it both ways. So I've always said Chan Wook Park. But that is the Vengeance Trilogy. Any way you look at it, it's one of the best trilogies uh, it ever made, as far as I'm concerned. And finally, is the big boy. Uh, we've shown a few martial arts movies. I love martial arts movies, and so that means I had to get this monster. I actually did take it out of the packaging when I when I was on a uh, fellow YouTuber to go to Blue's channel doing uh, Heat Street, where we just kind of showing off some items. And I did take it out of the packaging during that video, but I didn't actually fully. I took it out of the package that it was mailed to me in, but I didn't actually do a full unboxing. It's still in plastic, so let's quickly find out together what is actually in here. So I haven't watched any movie that's on here, at least not not from this box that I've seen most of the movies in here. Especially Five Deadly Venoms, all-time great Crippled Avengers, a few others that I have seen. So the plastic is now off for the first time. It's been sitting on my shelf for a few months now. Plastic. Here's a J card. Not sure what I'm gonna do with that yet, but without it. So this is the first time I'm seeing it in person without it. And you may have seen some others, uh, but there it is, Volume One. I'm looking forward to a Volume Two if they do it. There's been some rumors about what's on it, so I'll just I'm waiting, and I'm guessing that says Short Skull Volume One on the back. I don't know. Uh, Ooh, I've lost it. Pull out the box. Again, arrow with the sturdy, sturdy box there. And the first thing that shows that just about fell out of my hand was this booklet. 
a pretty wide booklet. And here it's got, well, this table of contents. There's some pictures. And it's, it's, go, it's just uh, some, some art, mostly pictures, actually, about, uh, well, pictures and some articles about each of the movies. And Five Fingers of Death is funny because that is not the, the title that it is go, uh, listed as on the back. The, on the back, Five Fingers of Death is actually listed as, I believe, as King Bob Day. So, but it's Five Fingers of Death. A lot of these movies do have alternate titles. Uh, let's get to the actual movies themselves. And again, it's booklet style, photo album style, really. here not a huge fan of that but the way that they put this one together is not too bad they don't, they don't seem to be too tight I don't have to pry them out every time I want to watch something they can come out pretty easy and so it's really 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 nice set glad I got it this one actually is not a martial arts movie the mighty Peking man uh, so I'm curious to check that one out I've never seen that one So that is it for my Arrow collection. Let me know down in the comments uh, if you have any movies from Arrow, what they are, if there's any that you would like to get, what you think of what I have. Uh, just start a, co a conversation down there. As always, be civil. Uh, if you want to see the rest of my haul with the movies that I showed, some of the movies that I showed here today, and some criterions that I picked up, and even a, 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 a vest, not restaurant, yeah, restaurant video, uh, no, a screen factory, sorry, a screen factory pickup also, you can check out that video, uh, and but that's all I have for this one, I'll catch you on the next one, bye.